New evidence coming out of Parliament proves that we are spending more money than ever on illegal migrants' housing, and we also now know the real number and figures when it comes to the Albanian gangs reaching the UK. Where is the money coming from? Well, we know that Rishi Sunak, as Chancellor, when he was Chancellor, he, uh, he and Bank of England loved printing money. Maybe as Prime Minister, he's going to advocate for that once again, because we do not have a magic money tree when it comes to the Home Office, when it comes to legal migration. And also, the problem is not just money. National security. Why is nobody talking about national security when it comes to legal migration? There are massive problems economically. There are massive problems when it comes to taxpayers' money, the country's budget. There are problems when it comes to national security. But there's also problems when it comes to culture, our culture. Now, lack of integration is creating problems. You've seen Leicester, you've seen other places, Birmingham. But that aside, in Dover, we reported on this channel yesterday that the migrants uh, managed to invade a home, someone's, some resident's home in Kent, literally went into the house and demanded to use the phone to call his gang friends in wherever Manchester or Birmingham to be able to send himself up there. And he was just there illegally, or if you're Joe Biden, undocumented. Well, it's chaotic right now. In Parliament, there were this discussion in the Home Affairs Select Committee yesterday, and they, they finally found out some of the real numbers of what's actually going on. We know, obviously, that when it comes to the illegal migrants' accommodations, they've been using all the four-star, five-star hotels. And actually, on the channel, we're going to be talking about what the government want to do now with uh, illegal migrants housing they are basically going to be bribing people uh, to take migrants into their houses let's see if gary lineker offers but the numbers right now there's still around 6.8 million pounds per day just on accommodation just on that that's about to, to almost two and a half billion pounds per year this is absolutely chaotic this is not normal behavior. This is not a normal country. Now, on the one hand, we know that Serco have one of the biggest contracts when it comes to this issue. Serco signed a four billion pound contract for about 10 years. This was back in 2019. So they have uh, about seven years left, I guess, seven, eight years left. And then they're going to have to sign another contract, I guess, at that point, unless we do something about this problem. We don't know. Uh, we now know that up to 2% of Albanian men in Albania, 2% of them are now here. So 2% of the population, male population in Albania, decided to leave the country and they managed to reach the UK through the Albanian gangs. And all of them are young, healthy, adult men. This is one issue. The numbers get close to 10,000 People, 10,000 Albanian men. And this is, by the way, just on a regular basis. <laughs> so when it comes to like yearly and the annual estimate that we are, uh, uh, well, they're relying on the Home Office to give us the figures, of course. Um, and the only way to do it is to get them to go to the select committee in Parliament to make sure that they tell the truth. Even then, <laughs> I don't understand why. Why, God, why? But uh, we, we do have to talk about these details. We do have to keep you guys informed. Otherwise, we don't know exactly what's going on if we don't ask the questions. They're not going to voluntarily come on TV and uh, give us transparency. That's not going to happen. You know, I'm not going to hold my breath. And um, they have their own problems. One of them is, of course, with the, some of the new politicians. We've got Kemi Badenov, you got Swala Braverman. They've both been targeted to be cancelled. And that's the next video in about half an hour. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to come back in half an hour. We're going to tell you about how Kemi Badenov is being cancelled for telling the truth. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.